From the home screen, we can access reports. This will give us a general overview of all of the events that are in the system. And we can start with the predefined reports that cannot be changed, and these are above the gray line. So for example, with the current key tag location, this will give us a, a long list of keys and cabinets and where they currently are. There are options to show it as a graphical view, and we can certainly hover over any of the keys at any time and see a little bit of detail about where the key is. We can also look at the current key tag holder. So if there are any keys out on the system at this point in time, it will show them. And the past key tag holder is a long rolling list of all of the keys that have been taken and returned in the system in time order. We have a text tag report for our smart cabinet. And generally this will just give us an overview of what that cabinet can particularly has. And our dispensers cabinet here currently has an inventory of, of uh, 20 units, for example, here. We also have a number of time filtered reports, and these are all of the events. And we can select one in, any one in question, whether it be all events of today, all events of this week, and all events of this month. Within our system reports, we do have a user data report. And this tells us all about the users, any details they've got in card credentials or credentials, and anything they've got access to, whether it be key tags, for example. We can also look at the key tags in the same way, and we can look at the keys in question and see who's got access to them and what groups they're in and so forth for auditing. We also have a predefined device report, and this will tell us everything about the hardware itself, whether it has a battery low, for example, or the battery status that you can see here. And we can also create our own custom reports. For example, below the gray line, you can see my keys report here. And this will just give us generally all of the keys in question, but we can certainly make changes to these reports, whether it be we want to change the time, focus on particular users, for example, even pick on particular key tags or even key tag groups, or even make a change and put different events in here if we wished. Once we're happy with the reports, we can always view the report, and if we need to, we can always go back to either saving them or even printing them by using the options at the top right. And we can save it as a CSV, a PDF file, for example, or even print it from here. We also have the option for an email reporter where we can generate our own email based on a report. And it's really simple to do. We can create a new email report for our, the one that we've just created, for example. We can give it a name. We can give the email a subject. We can then select the report in question, and we can either choose one of our predefined reports if we wished, or we can even select the one that we've just created. We can then select the email report format, whether it be HTML, PDF, or CSV. If we chose, for example, CSV, it would attach a CSV file to the email. If we want it to send empty reports, we can certainly say yes, and it will send an empty report if no events have happened. And we can even set the frequency on when we want to send that report. So if we were to send it daily, for example, we could set a time in particular to say we want to receive it at four, five o'clock at night. Once we've saved the report, you'll see it will appear on the left-hand side, and we can always come back to this and change it. We can then use the subtabs to choose who we send it to by selecting the recipients. If the email address is already in the system, we can certainly select it and we can assign it, and that user or that email address will, will receive that email. If not, we can certainly grab an email from the list that's already, already here from, um, from our user menu. In the history subtab, this will give you a running list of any email reports for this particular report and when they've been sent out. So if, you have a, if you've not received it, if you're not sure you've received it, you can always check to see if it was sent out on the software. 